Hey, Todd Boera with Fonta Flora Brewery in Morganton, North Carolina. Uh, we're throwing the first annual State of Origin uh, Craft Brew Festival uh, here in the historic square in downtown Morganton. And the theme of the festival is very unique and really important to us and what we do as a brewery. Uh, all the breweries and cideries that are here were they were required to bring at least one beer or you know product crafted with North Carolina grown ingredients. So this festival is great because everybody is everybody that's participating brought a local North Carolina beer and so you get the, the chance to try what uh, these other great breweries can come up with and you know what these folks are, are capable of. So this is our Sal's Paradise Saison. It's always been made with 100% North Carolina grown uh, malt from Riverbend Malt House in Asheville, North Carolina. It also has Sriracha Ace hops and a little bit of Simcoe hops that give it a nice lemon, kind of piney hop flavor to go that I think goes really well with that Saison yeast and then the great taste of the North Carolina grown malt. Cheers. Okay, I'm Tara. I'm from Birdsong Brewing Company. Um, I'm one of the owners there. We've been open for almost three years. Um, we're in Charlotte, North Carolina in uh, the Nodon neighborhood. Um, we try really hard to try to get um, as many local ingredients as we can to use, especially in our experimental batches that we do. We do um, 10 gallon batches every week that we put on tap in our tap room on Thursdays. Um, so you'll always see something new and something different in the tap room. Um, today we brought a Belgian uh, amber that we used uh, Riverbend malt, which is um, a malt here in Western North Carolina. Um, so 100% Riverbend malt as well as uh, rosemary and thyme that we grow on our patio. Um, we also make a jalapeno infused pale ale. It's one of our flagship beers. Um, so we make it all year round and whenever we can we get local jalapenos. So we do our best to try to incorporate local ingredients as much as possible. Appalachia IPA is a Zach, Hart, uh, Zach Hart's recipe. It won a silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival. Uh, Zach wanted to incorporate uh, his new locale with uh, a name of the beer and decided that Hopalacha was not only uh, inspiring towards the mountains, that it, that it brought the feel of the hoppiness of the beer with it. So he went with Hopalacha. Today we brought um, 17 Ghost, which is uh, the Hopalacha IPA made with uh, 17 jalapenos and one ghost chili because we didn't figure 17 was enough. So. Uh, if we're going to make a pepper beer, we're not going to go halfway. My name is Jason Alexander. I'm with Free Range Brewing. My brother Jeff and I, behind me, have uh, been working on opening Free Range Brewing in Charlotte, North Carolina for a little while now. Uh, we're going to be a small, kind of uh, farm to pint brewery in Charlotte. Three and a half barrel brew house. Uh, <laughs> focused on seasonal beers that uh, focus on community partners. Uh, be that farms, artists, uh, chefs, brewers, anybody that we can collaborate with to create something uh, that represents what's going on around us. It's kind of uh, so recently we've done a, a, what I thought was a pretty successful foraged beer, uh, Dandelion Saison, which we did two ways, one pretty straight up, and then one that was finished on Britannomyces, which funked it up a good bit. Uh, we also recently partnered with a local new up-and-coming coffee roaster in Charlotte called Pure Intentions. Uh, we did a coffee brown ale. Uh, used with some, some beautiful coffee beans that they, look, they roasted like. We're Southeast Labs. We develop regionally unique yeast strains, custom for breweries across the country. As of right now, we have yeast strains from the North, South Carolina, Green, or, uh, Georgia. So what we're seeing, Nick, we want to bring terroir back into beer. Not just a wine term, not just a cider term. But something that lets you define where you made your beer in the product in more than just a story. We work with local breweries. Primarily, either they order off our menu of yeast strains we currently have from our four states, which will be expanding as we grow. Or breweries can say, I'd like something from my mom's apple orchard or from my favorite beach or whatever I grew up, wherever I want to build a story around. And that's what we do. We can go there for you. We can sample yeast and we can bring it back as something that adds more substance to the beer than the words on your label. Right now, I'm having the Honeysuckle Saison by Steel String Brewery from North Carolina. 
They're only one of several here at State of Origin by Fauna Flora, serving beer made with our yeast. So a huge part of uh, the beers that we create at Fanta Flora involve myself and all the awesome employees that we have going out and foraging for whatever is in season. And so, you know, when dandelions were popping up everywhere, we were out there harvesting dandelions and we brewed a petite saison with all North Carolina grown malt and then aged on dandelion flowers. And then recently honeysuckle flowers were in bloom. So. We were out harvesting, we harvested seven pounds of honeysuckle flowers. So that's a ton, you know, it's a massive quantity of honeysuckle flowers. Uh, and so those went into a, a local grain, Belgian blonde. So that's what we're, that's what we're doing here. We're always crafting, you know, weird, locally inspired uh, beers. The next local, the next local themed beer that I have coming on right now is another, a Petite Saison aged on locally grown fennel bulbs. Uh, and then I have a, 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 a locally, local grain smoke saison that's gonna be aged on local watermelon. So just always popping stuff out like that. We make our hard ciders, we use um, locally sourced apples. We like to work with our growers, you know, keep it in the community kind of thing. Um, we use heirloom varieties for the most part. We really like to kind of mix it up, you know, here and there. We try different things, different combinations. I mean, that's just sort of what we do. That's the model that we chose to do, and we brew most of our beers with, uh, you know, local grains and moving towards local hops and foraging for dandelions, honeysuckle, you know, flowers, just all sorts of different uh, crops to use in. And that's important to us because it's where we live and it's what's around us. And so it gives us an opportunity to give people a taste of, you know, our surrounding and, you know, the terroir, terroir if you will.